Most companies have an internal database or internal systems that can only be accessed on their network. You can think of this like a physical file. You have to be in the office to open the door to locate those files. Network drives are an example of this. To access the box your files are on, you need to be within the same room or network as those files. Depending on your company's setup, you may need to be connected to their internal network all of the time, some of the time, or even none of the time. Many companies utilize a few different methods for doing this, such as VPN, VDI, or remote desktop. VDI, or virtual desktop. Systems such as VMware, which allow you to access a virtual desktop that is essentially in the cloud. It's a virtual computer that's residing on server. This is kind of like a remote desktop, only if you had a problem or a power outage, all you would have to do is call back up that virtual desktop or reboot and reconnect to the virtual desktop and your desktop is there. This is usually a great option because you have the entire speed of your home internet that you already have connecting to a cloud service. If you are accessing from a work computer and that work computer were to crash, you can go over to a personal computer, pull up that same virtual desktop and continue working as if it had never shut off. However, virtual desktop can be quite expensive to maintain and integrate into an environment and this can be out of reach for many companies. VPN is probably the easiest and the most direct, but it also can be slower than using VDI, which is why VDI ends up being such a great option for most companies and for most remote workers, especially if your company has the ability to build up that infrastructure. And it also might cut down on physical hardware costs. If you have a VDI, your company might not have to provide laptops to everyone. If you have a computer at home that you're already working from and they have this virtual desktop, Desktop, you can just pull that up and remote into that and use the virtual desktop from your own personal computer so the company can put all the money that they would have spent on those devices and instead put it into beefing up the virtual infrastructure. Now that said, in my experience, most companies still want to provide you with their hardware so they can manage it. They're not going to be able to troubleshoot your own personal device. They don't know what system you're running in. So it's just safer for most companies to give you a laptop and tell you to use the VPN and have that direct connection or to use the VDI from that company company laptop so your support department can help you get connected and troubleshoot all aspects of the computer.